What's up, Squirt? Are you ready for the most amazing background lights you've ever seen? He looks ready to me. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Jack and Dan. What's up, guys? We've been talking about redoing the background lights on Jack's triple bridge tank here. If you haven't seen the other lights that we did, we'll put a video in the description. Um, about a year ago, we put Christmas lights on the back of this when we got all the bridges and everything done. It came out really cool. It was a great effect that Jack really liked. It was like five bucks. We basically took blue Christmas lights, taped them on the back. Before we did any background lights on this tank, Jack basically painted all the backs with a white ceiling paint. I'll put that link in the description as well. Basically what that did is it blocks out any view of cords or anything like that, but you can still see the lights come through kind of faintly. Now you like that effect. It was kind of like a shimmering blue starry night yeah, kind of thing. It was really cool. Again, if you haven't seen it, we'll put a link in the description. What we decided to do during the COVID thing, we had a lot of extra time on lockdown. We were doing a lot of searching on the old internet, weren't we? Yeah. We came across a company called Lights in the Box. A little company out of a place called Jamaica, New York. Do you know there's a place called Jamaica, New York? No. Neither did I. But there is. Look at that. And they sent us a box we sent away for a bunch of meteorite lights. These are the kind of lights that kind of hang in the trees during Christmas time a lot of they times. They make them look like icicles. Yeah, they, they look like big icicles, but they drop down and they look like meteor, like a meteor shower or like a shooting star type of effect. Now what they did is they had these in a packet, and I think you get about eight of them, and they were on sale because it was during the whole pandemic and it, and it was, you know, springtime, nowhere near Christmas time. So we got four packets of these for only 20 bucks. It was only five bucks each. It was amazing. So for 20 bucks, we got all of these huge meteorite lights. And they're very thin. Um, they're covered in plastic, but yeah, it's very thin and small. They're LEDs. Yeah, and it's LED strips, and they kind of shoot down the end. And we're going to show you what they look like. So we're going to put all of these scattered throughout the backs of these tanks. Now, they each, each, each one of these groups comes with its own plug. But what we did is we joined them all together. They kind of they kind of screw together so that you only have to, you know, plug it in once. They also all come with these travel adapters, which I think this is for like Europe or something like that. Anyway, we didn't need those, but we got them all together, 20 bucks. Now, one of the things that we had to do is we had to get poster board for the back of the tanks because we don't want the lights kind of shining on the wall and all around the room. We only want it to come through. So once we get these taped to the back of the tanks, we're going to put the black poster board. These were five huge sheets of black poster board at Office, what was it, Office Max? Office yeah, Depot. Office Depot. For five bucks. So only a dollar a piece. So, so far we're looking at $25. Part of our channel, what we always show people to do, right, is to kind of get, do a lot of these creative things on a budget. It yeah. doesn't cost a lot of money to have these cool effects. You can actually do them for very inexpensive. So up to 25 bucks. The roll of tape, 99 cents on a clearance rack at Marks. Um, we got a timer. We're gonna put it on a timer. 99 cents on a clear, clearance racks at Marks. So that's like 27 bucks so far. The way we're gonna time these is these big track lights that light up all the tanks, they turn on around uh, noon and they stay on till about nine o'clock at night. We're going to have these turn on before those turn off, uh, kind of like overlap a little bit so that when these turn off, these blue meteorite shower lights are going to be left on so that the fish and turtles are not like shocked by them. Yeah. So when those lights turn off, these are going to be on already and they're going to stay on pretty much all night. They are pretty slow moving. We don't think they're going to shock the fish or bother them. We think it's actually going to be pretty cool and relaxing. Um, so we're going to put them on a timer. So that's like 27 bucks. Now, you might say to yourself, wow, what is this thing? I got this for Jack. I was at Menards, and I was doing some other shopping. They have, every now and then, they have a big clearance rack of something that they have a surplus of. This is a light-up globe. Show them how it lights up. I'm going to turn it on here. <clears throat> Basically, look at that. It works by touch, and you touch it, and it changes the tone of light. Isn't that cool? So we're going to make that part of this whole light thing. We're going to put it in between some of these tanks. Now this tank over here, right behind Jack, has a, the picture of uh, Cap that, uh, of course, Punchy Paints made for us. 
So that's going to be there. This one's going to be over here between these two tanks. And it's going to be lit up. Now it has a plug-in. It has a battery that keeps it up, but you can just plug it in a USB port. Guys, these were normally between $20 and $30. This little globe right here was on the clearance rack of an arts for $0.99. Cents. How can I pass that up? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, so for $28, bucks, we're going to put meteorite shower lights all across this, put it on a timer, put them on the back, put a poster board on the back, and we're going to have a lit-up globe over here in between the other two tanks. I almost can't believe this. Can you? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of lights. It's going to look cool. It's going to be a lot of effect for like 28 bucks. We're going to start setting this up. Check it out. Now, I'll just show you how cool these things are. There are 32 of these all together. That means eight came in each pack. Now, obviously, they're all together, so they're looking pretty crazy right now. But isn't that cool? So, basically, when you just look at kind of one of these by itself, it's only going to go off every so often. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spread these out throughout the backs of the tank and then the wires are just going to kind of go you know underneath or maybe we're going to take them up top and they're all going to be connected and they're basically going to be just these shooting stars all along the back of the tanks we're going to check this out see how it goes all right so here's the first one again we didn't even turn the lights off yet i mean wow uh, a few weeks ago we did a video on how we made these avatar rocks this is all part of this whole theme so just to give you an idea, this is only seven of the eight lights. One of the things that we found, I was just going to kind of show you guys as we were doing this, it's pretty easy to tape it in the back. Not a lot of room back here, but luckily we've got long arms. <laughs> this is the eighth one. Now one of the things that we notice when you look at these straight on is one side has a little more light than the other side, just the way the bulb is faced. Not a huge difference, but we're trying to face it that way. We're also trying to face it flat on the plane instead of turning it sideways because if you turn it sideways, when the meteor comes down, it has a line in the middle. So you can see when the light's not lit up, you can kind of see a distant image of the light fixture, but it's barely noticeable. And that's why we did the ceiling paint the way that we did. It blocks out pretty much all the, you know, technical part of the lights, but you can still see the actual lights. And that was just one thin layer of brushed on white ceiling paint. Uh, Jack did that by himself one day, uh, way back almost a year ago, so, uh, over a year ago. And uh, again, super easy to do. We had ceiling paint around, everybody does. So you can see how this is coming out, guys. Really looking cool. Don't think it's going to freak the fish out at all. It's not that heavy. So anyway, we're turning them this way. And just so you could kind of see how that works, when you push it against the back, you get that image. Super cool, huh? So there's going to be eight on this tank. There's going to be... Uh, the cord's going to go up kind of above here, so you can't see it, you know, too much. Um, it's going to be too hard to put below. It's not really long enough to reach to the top, so we're going to probably take it up, run it along the track, go to the next one. This one will have 16 of these, and that one will have 8. So, hey, not bad. We're going to get them all on here. We're going to turn off all the lights. We're going to see how this all looks. The outlet is right behind this tank. Oh, got to kind of turn it sideways. And the timer's there. And you can see how these are basically just taped to the back, all facing the same way. There's the uh, outlet. Now, the cool part is, is there is a manual override. We can kind of flip this anytime we want and just turn the lights on manually if we want. We're going to have, it's not time for them to go on yet since we're working on them. We just hit the override. So all this is tucked back here nice and neatly. We can look back here underneath the bridge. It's not that hard. You just stick your head underneath the bridge there. <laughs> and then turn it on and off. So now we're going to branch on the second strip and move on over to this tank. Look at Squirt. He's checking out the globe. It's like, what's up with that globe, dude? That's sweet. All right, so this is the, how the globe works. Really cool. You touch it, and it changes from like a dark blue to a lighter blue to a white, and there's like a red that you can barely see. Jack likes this one. He's going to put it on Australia. For all the Australian fish tubers we know. Good eye, you mob. All right, guys. So it took about an hour, hour and a half to kind of tape all these on. It's kind of tough because they're against the wall. So we had to, like, reach on the top and reach behind and all that kind of stuff. Jack just kept handing me pieces of tape, and I just kept taping it on. Uh, 32 of these, like we said. We put about three, four pieces of tape on each one. 
got them all holding on really good. Uh, got the globe going. Everything's good. The fish don't really seem to mind them at all. They don't even really seem to notice them much. Um, when the big lights turn off, we're going to show you basically how the timer thing's going to work. It's going to be like a nighttime effect. The globe's just pretty much going to stay on um, all the time. Jack can just touch it if he wants to turn it off or change it or whatever. So that's cool. As far as the background lights go, these meteorite showers, is he's going to, uh, the timers are going to have them on. They're going to turn on for about a half hour. The big lights are going to turn off. And then they're going to stay on for about an hour or so, maybe two, then they're going to turn off. We'll kind of mess around with it. And then it'll just be dark at night so that he and the fish can sleep and the turtles and everything. So that's how it's probably going to go. That seems like the best way to go, right? Yes. Yeah. As far as the whole black construction paper thing goes, cardboard, we don't even think we're going to need it. No. Um, it it pretty much seems like they really don't shine with the tape and everything. They really don't shine that much on the wall. We still got the effect we wanted. We might put it on later to see if there's a difference. doesn't seem like we're going to need it. So we're going to show you guys. We're going to turn off the lights. Check this out, guys. All right, guys. So that's what it looks like. We got Cap's picture over there. We might try to figure out a little light so we can light up Cap's picture. Tiny little night light. But that's kind of how it looks. We really dig it. Uh, again, the fish and the turtles don't really seem to react. They're just kind of chilling out. Um, the globe really looks awesome there. Kind of like the Earth, you know, floating out in space with the meteorite yeah, it does look meteors cool. going by and the stars shooting stars. I dig it, man. I think to be to be honest, it looks more like an Earth theme. Like like this looks like a rainforest because these kind of look like trees you see, and then the rain yeah. unevenly falls. Like yeah, I mean, it could look like a rainforest. It could look like Star Wars. It could look like yeah. anything. And you have like the Earth. Yeah, touch that a few times just to show the different colors. It was like really dark. Yeah, it could be like a red. And then it could be like dark blue. And then like a light blue. Super and neat, man. Plain blue. For 99 cents. How cool is that? Yeah, it's pretty sick. So, hey, I think these came out great. You think you're going you're gonna to kind of like fall asleep to those? Yeah, it's going to be very, like, satisfying. Man, for 28 bucks, I can barely fit all of them in. I'm going to move way back to the corner. Just to kind of show you how all of them look. I'm going to come close again. The fish don't really seem to mind them. They don't seem to really react. They react more to me moving with the uh, camera. But, uh, yeah, I mean, really neat. I'm going to show this one over here from this perspective. Um, you can see that the pleco's over there a little bit. This one, this one came out really good. So I'm going to back up a little more just so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, wow. I am very impressed with how they came out. They're not too fast. They're not too slow. Yeah, they're just perfect. They don't really seem to upset the fish at all. This is an awesome effect for $28 and just about 90 minutes of work. I mean, I'm very impressed. Again, we'll put links in the description of some of the other things we've done with these tanks and, um, you know, where we got the lights and all that kind of stuff too. But, man, is that cool. Man. All right, guys, we thought this was a lot of fun. We thought it came out really awesome, didn't it? Yeah, it came. I love it. It came out great. I mean, ultimately, we do things like this a lot on our channel. Just about every Friday, we upload different videos about our aquariums, some yes. of the creative things that we do. We try to show people how really on a budget you can make some awesome effects on your aquariums. This is Jack's triple bridge setup. Um, we've got a lot of videos on it. You can check it out in the playlist. We've done a lot of upgrades on it. Next thing we're going to be doing is adding in a whole bunch of vines and, and live plants and vines that are going to kind of crawl up and down and around the tanks and everything like that. I think that these lights came out amazing. We're really happy with them. We, we have all kind of things like this in our aquarium playlist, so I'll put that in the description as well, along as the other stuff we talked about too. Make sure to subscribe. What else do they want to do, man? Hit the bell for notifications. Hit that bell or you won't know when we do something next. And um, we will see you next time, guys. If you are interested in buying me and Jack a cup of coffee, there's a link down below to do that as well. So check that out. That's kind of something new we started a few weeks back. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye. How you like the light squirt? You like them? How do you like the lights? Do you like them? <laughs> you guys like the lights? Boy, she is a beauty, isn't she?
my favorite fish in this tank. Love her. How about you guys? You guys like the lights? How about you, buddy? You like the lights? This guy matches the lights, huh? <laughs> what a beaut. Look at you, man. You are looking good today. Good day, you mob.